sound. Welcome back to the WPT Championship at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. The action is just starting as all six players vie for the championship title and a prize pool worth almost three million in cash. We're back on the action. It's going to be on our man Ted Forrest to act first. And look at this, Mike. He's picked up an ace, eight of clubs, and that's a strong hand for Ted Forrest. What's he going to do? He just calls. It's what we call limping in in first position. He has just called here. And look at this. Allen's going up with an ace four. He's raising with just ace four. James Hepner's out of the hand. Doyle's going out. As is Phil. Now it's back to the young Russian. Now he's in the big blind. Remember, he has 30,000 in the pot. It cost him 60 more thousand to call. He knows that Ted Forrest has limped in in first position. This is a pretty much of a danger signal in the poker world. Many times people limp with a big hand. He's got queen, ten of clubs, a pretty strong hand from the rookie from Red Square. What's he going to do? Look at the intensity on this kid. You know what? He looks a little like that movie star Matt Damon, you know, from around here. I think he looks a lot like Matt Damon. He's not going to play this, though. It's back on Ted. He's got to see this raise. What's he going to do? Well, that's 60,000, Tim, to call. He only has an ace eight, remember? 60,000 to Ted. But it's ace eight suited. Well, it's a strong hand for him so far. I raised 300. Oh, man, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Whoa. He's going He's up. He's raising 300,000 with an ace eight. Against the chip leader, Vince. Oh, and Allen's going to throw his hand away. What a tremendous play by Ted Forrest. Well, how did Ted know that? That Allen wasn't that strong, that he could take this play? I mean, you don't know for sure, but saying $300,000 raise says a lot. <laughs> well, the strongest part of Ted Forrest's play, in my opinion, is his instincts for the game. Mike, you can throw the poker books away. This is poker mastery you're watching here. It really is fantastic. Back into action is going to be on James Hepner. And look at this. James has picked up a strong pair of jacks. He has not played a hands yet today. Well, he certainly is the most solid player at the table, as we say, the tightest player. He will have a hand if he gets his chips in there. And he's picked one up here, two oh, jacks. Yeah, you got to like that very much. Look, he's getting ready. He's going to raise it. He's raised it 100,000. He makes it 130,000 to go. Doyle throws away 6-4. Phil throws away 7-8. Whoa, look at this now. Oh, man. The Russian has picked up a pair of kings. Monster hand. This could spell disaster for the young CPA. $130,000 raise. $130,000 With two kings, he's got to feel like a cosmonaut right now on a rocket ship here. There's only one hand better than that. Look at this. He's taking his time with the... you got to think he's going to raise this up strong. He is raising. Oh, man. The red square rumbler is going to raise it strong. Now, look at James Hepner. Well, James has raised 100000 And now let's see how much Kirill's going to raise it. He makes it 250000 So he raises another 120000 raises 250000 Ted Forrest... 7-8. He's not going to play. Allen's going to throw away his hand. Now, what do you do? You're an accountant. You're a CPA. You want to play. You have a pair of jacks. Well, you know, it's a pretty good hand. It's the only hand he's seen so far. But he is in the cooker here right now. He's in the frying pan, I can tell you. With the two jacks against the two kings. He doesn't know it, however. He bets it all. He's going to go Whoa. all in. James Hepner has moved all in. Kirill is going to quickly call him here. He's turning over his hand. He's not going to like it when he sees the young Russian's hand. James has two red jacks. Carol has two No, he's not. He just flew it over. There it is. Oh, man. James knocks the table. He knows he's got to really get lucky to win this pot now. This is two kings versus two jacks. Here comes a flop. That's not going to help him so far, Mike. Nope. Flop is a six deuce. Right now, James Hepner is going to have to have a jack, or he's going to be our sixth place finisher. Here comes fourth street. Not there either. 
Nope, he has two outs, as we say, left. Uh, he has to catch one or two jacks. It's over. He doesn't do it. James Hepner is our sixth-place finisher here today. A nice effort, a tough beat. He's got to walk away. This is a man that just a few weeks ago found out about this tournament, decided to split the entry with a buddy, and there he is, taking away $93,000. Well, he's told these other guys he's going to be sitting in the front row. Whoever wins that million, come over and see him. He'll show up what to do with their taxes there, man. Oh, oh, what a great effort. And I'll tell you something. The kid from Red Square is a man that is on a run. I love the intensity of this guy. Solid hand, played it well. This guy's an amazing story. He got in with a $180 entry into a small tournament, won that, and he has a shot at over a million dollars here. I started playing the tournament uh, one, one year ago, and uh, I have a great chance for winning one million dollars. One million dollars to the winner, and the action is going to be on the young Russian, Kirill. Carol's first and Kirill's got a king six of hearts. What's he going to do? He just won with kings. He's not going to play this one. He folds. Ted Forrest got three queen. But look at this. Ted Forrest again raising the pot. He's just going up. He's going to raise it. I mean, this guy just has his foot stuck. The pedal to the metal here, this guy. I mean, well, he never stops betting, Ted. Now, look at this. He's, Alan's going to call him with Alan ace six. Well, Alan calls. He's in position. He calls with ace high. He's got ace six. Now, look at this, though. Doyle Brunson's picked up queen jack of clubs. A very interesting hand. Well, that's a nice playable hand, and Doyle is going to play it. Yes, he is. Calling from the small blind. He calls another 50,000. Phil with king deuce off suit. He's not going to play. Passes. So we're going to have three-way action pot here between Ted, Allen, and Doyle. Got over a quarter million in the pot. This is going to be interesting. Yes, we're going to see some poker. We're going to see a flop. Here it is. Flop comes four. Now four the flop deuce. is four, four flop. deuce with two clubs. Now this gives Doyle Brunson a flush draw. Now see if you can t pick up any tells on the master. But he's Doyle going all in. all in. He says I'm all in. Doyle is betting the flush draw right here, right now. This man has not lost any of his nerve, I'll tell you that much. Ted's going to go out. As is no Allen, he's going to gonna take the pot home. Doyle Brunson says, let's hear it, let's hear it for me. Let me get back in the hunt here. This is a legend at work here. Lots of music to his ears. But this guy, it almost seems like he invented the big bluff. I mean, he showed people the Did way in his book. Is and now everyone knows that tactic. You've seen it on the World Poker Tour, and you just saw it there again by the master himself. Doyle Brunson is a Hall of Famer and a card room legend. Earlier today, I had a chance to speak to the man who literally wrote the book on poker. If you want to find out about a true legend, who better to ask than the people who follow in his footsteps? Doyle Brunson, grandfather of poker. He's been playing at a high level longer than anybody. Definitely, without question, one of the best players ever to play. It's a privilege to be playing with a guy like that. He may be legendary, but this is no mythological character we're talking about here. Texas Dolly, as he is known, is just a man who stacks his chips one pile at a time. I taught myself, actually. I was an athlete in college, and I broke my leg, and I couldn't compete in sports any longer, so I uh, started playing poker. And he's been doing pretty well for himself as a pro player ever since. 48 years and counting. It's really amazing, you know, from where I came from. I, we used to play in the back rooms in Texas and Oklahoma and Louisiana, you know, you're always afraid you're going to get arrested, you're going to get robbed, you're going to get cheated. And now it's uh, in the casino atmosphere. I guess it's just going to get bigger and bigger. From cash games to mega tournaments, Doyle Texas Dolly Brunson has seen it all. And though he's had to change his style since letting his secrets out of the bag in his book, Doyle does have one piece of advice for the young up-and-comers. There's no substitute for experience. And I think that's the whole secret to poker. You know, Doyle is such like a legend in the poker world. It's just so great to see him here at this final table, Vince. We'll be back with more from the WPT Championship in Las Vegas on the World Poker Tour. <laughs>
Welcome back to Las Vegas and the WPT Championship. So far, taxman James Hefner has busted out in sixth place, going all in with a pair of jacks against Russian rookie Kirill Garasimov's pair of kings. Our current chip leader is still Alan Gehring. Although he's gone down today, he is truly the heartbreak kid. I mean, he has never won the tournament, as great as he is. Well, that's true. He's the only player at the table that's never won a poker tournament. But who knows? This might be his day today, and what a time to capture your first victory. I can tell you one thing. They all fear him because they can never put him on a hand. You know, he's an aggressive, gambling, bold player. You never know what the guy has. Well, look what he's just doing here. He's got 8-4 of spades. He calls. He comes in the pot. Doyle's out. Fills out. And the young Russian with King-9 is going to call it. Ted's also going to be in. Here comes the flop. So here we go. And look at this. The young Russian is checking his pair of kings. He's hit the kings. Head check. He's setting up Allen, who's going to bet this. Bet Notice the kid <laughs> checked two kings in first position, knowing the two aggressive players are behind him, and Nelson one of them's raised. liable to bet, and that's exactly what's happened. Oh, but he's going to quickly raise. The Russian is quickly raising him. This is a nice play by Correll right here. He knows how aggressive these players are. He threw them the rope, as we say. The old check and raise. He's and sure enough, Allen's going to hang himself more. here. Total of Ted is pointing, I don't know, at an insect on the... Table. Who knows? He's going to go out. This is 240. Two more chips. It doesn't matter. Let's cool. go. And Alan And passes. Alan's going to go out. Alan, Alan folds. I like that play by Carell right there. I'll tell you, Vince. Ah. I like the fact he checked the top pair on the flop, knowing one of these aggressive players might bet at the pot. That's exactly what happened. Give him credit for the way he played that hand. Look at his smile. Just like Matt Damon. Look at him. I think he does look a little like Matt Damon. Matt Damon played in the World Championship of Poker. Ironically, Doyle Brunson broke him. Doyle had two aces. Matt Damon had two kings. That's how he got knocked out of the World Championship the year he played it. Well, so Doyle's going to throw a 10-8. Phil Ivey looks at an eight queen of hearts, and he's going to raise it up, Mike. Queen eight suited. Phil Ivey raises. Comes in for 90000 A young Russian looks at a king deuce off suit. $60,000 raise. He's on the button in position. But with only a king deuce offsuit. But look at him staring back at Phil. He's not going to call it. He folds. Ted Forrest got a 7 6 suited connector. Interesting little creative hand, potentially. You What's think, he going to do? You'd think it? Ted would love a hand like that. Not this time. Well, notice the difference. Ted will bet the junk hands, but he won't call with those kind of hands. Now, this is amazing. Alan calls 60,000. Alan Gehring's going to call with just 5 4 offsuit. Well, he's had 30,000 in the pot. He calls 60 more thousand with a 4 or 5. He's going to try to catch a flop where he might can break Phil Ivey. Let's see what happens. Jack, 10, with two now that helps neither player, but it gives Phil Ivey an Alan inside checks. straight draw. Allen checks to him. Allen checks, and here comes Phil. He's betting. Now, Vince, many players here would take a free card off to Phil try to catch just nine. Not Phil Ivey. He's firing out of this pot to try to win it right here. Doesn't want to try to draw anything, and it's working. Allen line. folds his hand. This is a nice play by Phil Ivey right here. A little smile by Allen, realizing huh? he's just, he was just messing around with you, Phil. He bet with the queen high, the inside straight draw. He won that pot. He didn't know his opponent had a 5-4. A bold, aggressive play by Phil Ivey. You got to like it. He's going after this title. Lots of stake. This is a sensational young player. You got to have a lot of heart to play No Limit Poker on a championship level. And Phil Ivey certainly has it. Got to go with your first instinct in poker, and you got to follow through. Okay, it's going to be on the young Russian Kirill. And this time he's picked up king-queen, Mike. Yeah, that's a nice hand. He's not going to play it. Now, that's pretty amazing in a five-handed game to lay down a king-queen, but he did so. Ted's going to lay down six-queen. Allen's going to call us with a five-deuce of clubs. A <laughs> five-deuce, he calls. He's in position. It is suited. Now, Doyle's already involved. He's got queen-five. He calls in the small blind, and we're going to have a three-way pot here. Here it comes. This is Doyle, Phil, and Allen in this pot, and the flop comes 10-8-4. Helps none of the players. Bill checks. No help checks. to anybody, and it goes check, check, check. It comes 4th Street. Next card is the Deuce of Diamonds. Now the Deuce of Diamonds comes off on the turn. Now that hits 